Hey YouTube, it's me, and today I think I'll do a review of my car, 2007 Chevrolet Malibu. This is the uh, 2.2 liter inline 4 Ecotec model, developing about 144 horsepower through a 4 speed automatic transmission. So I mean, it's not the best, and coming in at about 3,000 pounds, it's definitely not the best. But fully independent suspension all day around. McPherson struts up front, and I just kicked the hubcap. And multi link in the rear. So not bad at all. As for the car itself, it's still in completely stock form. And as you can see, missing registration and plates and all that. And, uh, well, as for the exterior, it is a bit wet, so it just. Well, just got a bit cleaned. On this side, there's a, uh, someone scraped along it here. So there's a dent in this door here, and you can still see the uh, scrape line. But after constant washing, it's not as bad as it once was. Over here, don't know what happened there, but my best guess is boat trailer. And to the, uh, all this side, it's missing a door handle, because of course it is. Some rust down here. But yeah, it is getting kind of rusty, especially on the underside. So it definitely isn't the, in the best of condition. But I mean, I suppose it works. The old GM seal of quality right there. And one thing I forgot on this side is this rust patch right here. But hey, it's not the worst, I suppose. Inspect until May of 2017, which is plenty enough for me. And now for the interior. If I can get the damn key on my pocket. Uh, don't hit the boat trailer. So, the interior, it's still pretty bland. I kind of like the design of the uh, dashboard. A uh, fake, it's like a fake emulated carbon fiber, but it does look pretty good. The 4-speed automatic with cruise control right there. And old radio. Well, old stock radio, I should say. CD player only. It's still trash filled from when my mom had it. So that's kind of unfortunate. I gotta clean that out. And another unfortunate bit of it is the night my mother was a designated driver a year ago. Projectile vomit. That's forever stained in this car's history. But anyway, though, gonna show a little bit of it. Menu. Let me see if I can try to find it. Info. 229 miles left of gas in the tank. Half tank, as you can see. Oh, 29.7 mpg. Then again, it's been kind of sitting around for doing nothing, so... It's kind of unsurprising that it's above average. Since I was literally sitting here doing nothing, so... If it has nowhere to be, isn't the economy pretty much infinite? <sighs> That's the average speed that tra travels at. 80% oil life. And there's current time and temperature. 38 degrees. But it's uh, but it doesn't really feel like it though. No oh, help. Well. Get the key out there. I'll see about trying to pop the hood if I can remember what button it was. Hmm? 
There's nothing, just a boat. Uh, I think that's the hood popped. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, where's the damn clip? Uh, apologies, this is my first time trying to get this thing open. Uh. Okay, seriously, where the hell is it? Is this it? No, that's just... Oh, great, I got my damn fingers stuck in the grill. There we go. Okay, seriously, how do you open this? Hmm. Well, damn, am I an idiot? Apologies for this. I'll probably just end up cutting this out. In fact, that's what I will do. I'm glad I am back with the hood popped open. There's the uh, 2.2 liter EcoTac engine. That's the aspirated, of course. It is a pretty big engine bay for such a small engine, I mean. You can see right through to the bottom. I think this is a uh, horn. The air intake. And, yeah. So that's a pretty good view of under the engine bay. That'll be it for now. See ya. Okay, I am back. I have a problem. The damn hood won't latch. Oh. Um, yeah, the rain is starting to pick up. Oh, cool. Oh, this ain't the best. It's really starting to rain, so come on. <clears throat> okay, what is it that I'm missing? Uh, I seriously do not know. What is there missing? Okay, Hood, why do you not want to go down? <sighs> Come on! Yeah, well, I'll figure this out later. See ya.